Here we have the 66 Reg Audi A3 e-tron. Do best point out any marks, any imperfections and things like that. So we start with the front right alloy and tyre here. Overall that alloy is in really good shape. And on the front right tyre we've got just over 5mm of tread there. So absolutely loads of tread. Coming around the right hand side, that's all pretty good. There's really not too much to point out at all, to be fair. So we've got like a little bit there, a couple little stone chips just there and another one just here. Uh, they're not very big. If I stand, I'll stand about a metre away and you can see just how small they actually are. Uh, you can still see them, but they are really, really tiny. Obviously, the car's six years old, so you will get a few little bits, but there's nothing that major on it at all. So we've got the back right alloy and tyre here as well. Again, this one's pretty good overall, but we have just got a few little scratches just there on this one. And we've got a Dunlop tyre, and on the back right tyre, we have got just over 6mm of tread there, so absolutely loads of tread on that back right tyre. Coming around the back of the Audi A3 here, of course you've got your rear parking sensors. I've just got a few light little scratches just on the back boot, just from where someone's been putting something into the boot very very minor though really really light little scratches of course you've got the uh, charger and everything there as well come around the back left hand side that's all pretty good we've got the back left alloy and tyre here as well again overall this alloy is pretty good overall just a little bit of the greys across there and a little bit more there otherwise the rest of it's all nice and tidy and we've got nearly six mil of tread on the back left tyre again uh, we've got I think that's another Dunlop yeah, another Dunlop tyre as well so I mean generally when it's got the premium brand tyres on you know that it has been well looked after it does look as if I can see uh, it's potentially had a little bit of touching paint here so a little bit of a light scratch another one there and a little bit just along the arch just there uh, it's really hard to see unless you're literally this close if I stand about a meter away it's very very difficult to see uh, that it's there but something worth pointing out come around the left hand side and that's all pretty good and we've got the front left alloy and tyre here as well. Again, overall this one's very, very tidy. Does look as if this one's potentially had a little bit of a refurb. Um, but overall it's really nice refurb. You can only just see when you get as close as this, basically. And on the front left tyre, again, just over 5mm of tread there. Coming around the front bumper, of course you've got your front parking sensors. Overall, that's pretty good. It does look as if I'm being absolutely honest. It does look as if it's potentially had a little bit of paint on this front bumper here. I uh, can just tell again when you're within within a meter or literally this close. Uh, obviously, the car's HPI clear, but you just you can't account for if somebody gets a small bit of work done. Uh, the bonnet, just a few tiny little stone chips. Otherwise, the rest of that's all nice and tidy. And the windscreen, free from any major chips or cracks. And we have got two keys with this one as well. Now if I show you the inside, it's got the driver's door there. Again, the inside, I'll point out if there's any big marks or scratches or anything worth pointing out. Driver's seat, nice and clean, just a little bit of wear on the bolster, which you do get with the age and if I just jump in now as well and if I just start it up there you go as you can see that's all working exactly as it should be no warning lights on the dash or anything like that just over 30,000 miles on the clock like I say, we've just serviced it as well because it was due a service when it landed with us. Uh, steering wheel, that's all in really good condition as well. Just a couple of little marks on the edge there. Got automatic lights just down there. Of 
we've just got the screen that comes out, sat nav, like I say, all works perfectly. I'm going to put it into reverse, you have parking sensors come up on there as well. Cup holders, the automatic gear stick. It's really nice and clean, the armrest. And we've got the front left seat here. Again, nice and clean overall, just a very slight scuff on there. Like I say, these videos would just be ultra critical. But it's a really nice place to be on the inside of this. Now if I just show you into the back of the e-tron. Ah, I've just noticed we've got a few light little scratches just on that bit of trim as well. Otherwise the rest of it's all really, really nice and tidy. And we've got the back right door there. Again, that's all really clean and tidy. Back of a driver's seat, pretty good. Just a few light little scratches. Again, all sorts of things you will get. I've got front and rear uh, floor mats in this one as well. Back left door. And then you've just got these rear seats just here. So I've just noticed, yes, just a few little marks down there. I think that'll come up with a little bit of the clean. Otherwise, the rest of that's all nice and tidy. Again, the Isofix just in the bottom of those seats. There we go, so that's the Audi A3 e-tron. Overall, a nice example for a car six years old. Thanks for watching.